Good morning, my dear church. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. The change of season is here and it feels wonderful. I am so excited about this, this part of the year where we give thanks to God and where we honor God in all that we are. I will tell you now, since we are in November, happy thanks living. That is right. I said thanks living, not thanksgiving. Thanks living is that what we do is we live to serve God. We, are, we live to be grateful for the many gifts that we are given. And so it's with that idea that we continue in Psalm 139. I would like to read to you verses 7 through 12. Hear this word. Where could I go to get away from your spirit? Where could I go to escape your presence? If I went up to heaven, you would be there. If I went down to the grave, you would be there too. If I could fly on the wings of dawn, stopping to rest only on the far side of the ocean, even there your hand would guide me. Even there, your strong hand would hold me tight. If I said, the darkness will definitely hide me, the light will become night around me. Even then, the darkness isn't too dark for you. Nighttime would shine bright as day, because darkness is the same as light to you. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. You know, I will start this out by saying and asking this question. Have you ever experienced God where God was not supposed to be? Have you ever experienced God where God is not supposed to be? Many of us know what it is like to make our bed on the other side of the sea. We know what it's like to have the feeling of being disconnected from the world. And we are in a place that maybe God would never call us back from. We know what that's like. But this reading today is a drastic reminder that it doesn't matter where you have gone, who you think you are, what sins you have committed that you feel are so bad God would never forgive you for them. That all washes away with this reading because we realize that God was still present even in the times that you felt the farthest away from him. What a powerful thought that when we were feeling like we were at our darkest moment, when we feel like we are left alone, the psalmist reassures us that God is with us, guiding us. We may not feel it, we may not experience it, and it may take years before we realize that truth. But it is a truth nonetheless. God does not want us to remain isolated. And so God does God's work to bring us back from the brink. To remind us that even if we were to go into death, Sheol, God would still be there for us. My friends, I don't know about you, but I am so comforted by the assurances found in this reading today. God is with us. God will always be with us, even in the places that we would never expect God to be. I pray that you hold fast to this message that you let it burn in your heart. 
and that you find joy and hope as a result of this reading today. May God's grace be with you. And for those of you who feel like you are so far away or you have done something in your life that is not forgivable, hear these words. Everything has a forgiveness. Everything has a season. Let this be your season to reclaim the power and good news of our God and sit with him who holds you fast. For it is in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit we offer honor and glory and praise to you, Almighty Father. Amen.